WGN's Lourdes Duarte spoke to a woman with Chicago connections waiting for Hurricane Iota to clear out. The images tell the story of the power of Hurricane Iota. What makes it even worse is that it followed the same path as Hurricane Ada two weeks ago. The two have devastated the Central American region with roofs torn off, then massive flooding and landslides. One of the people tracking the storm's every move is Amy Campos. She spent 2017 in Chicago as part of a program with the State Department. She's now back in Honduras and reached out to her Chicago connections for help. She says the back-to-back -back storms have done a number on already struggling areas. We were barely recovering. We barely got a time to breathe. And then Iota comes. Last night was a very... Um, a, a very anxious night for all of us. It hit, it's, it's hitting more in the southern part. Iota arrived in Nicaragua first with 155 mile per hour winds. It has now mostly dissipated over El Salvador. More rain, though, is expected for Amy's central city in Honduras today. The main fear now landslides. We have 103,000 people uncommunicated. So um, it, it's different to communities, 69 communities. Sorry about the noise right now they're making outside my office. They're uh, making repairs to, to clean the street gutters because they are, they are clogged with mud. It's a race to do what they can before potentially another storm heads their way. The 2020 hurricane season has been an active one. Iota, the 30th named storm, and there are still two weeks left in the season. We're just waiting to see what happens. Hopefully right now that's not raining, we get a get chance to clear things up just so that, you know, water, water is able to pass. And different images like this continue to come into our newsroom from different parts of Central America. It shows some of the damage, flooding, and destruction that they're experiencing there. By the way, there is a pretty sizable Central American community in the Midwest. The Honduran consulate, in fact, even has offices here in Chicago. With their help, there's a relief drive starting November 20th at Rincon Family Services. I've posted a link to the consulate's page on WGNTV.com.